Hey my lovely YouTubers, it's me Morgan Trey CJ coming today to talk to you about getting over your ex. Whoo, this is one of them subjects y'all. Okay, getting over your ex. Now I don't know about y'all, but I've been in my fair share of relationships and I have a whole series on relationship talk so you can go and check out all that stuff. But getting over your ex is something that a lot of us battle with and I'm speaking for myself for a long time I would be in new relationships and I still would be holding on to an ex and so what I want to talk to you guys about is getting over them first off you need to understand that it's okay that you dated them it's okay that you have that love that emotion they'll still you still have that love for them that is okay to still love someone to have a unaffect like just like to have a love like I hope you do good bro you gonna do good like that's good to have that love for them but what is not good is to sit around and daydream and to continue to play with the idea of something that God already cut off or told you to let go of a long time ago and so that's what I want to talk to you guys about is understanding that you have to let go of these things because it's going to do you more and more damage the more you try to hold on and say oh it may come back around the more you try to hold on to those little things that they gave you the more you try to hold on to those little notes you still might have in your closet that is causing you more and more pain to still hold on and i think you need to understand is it's like the more the more you hold on the more hurt you're going to cause yourself and that's what i low-key had to learn over time but it's okay that you cry it's okay that you miss them it's okay that you're sad it's okay that you're heartbroken that is okay that but you have to Allow yourself to go through the process of healing and don't continue to run back or run and jump into other relationships the way you truly get over your ex is you get rid of things that you no longer need from them you get rid of those little googly memories you get rid of that little thing that they gave you if they bought you a purse if they bought you this if you still sleeping in the same bed with the same sheets mm, okay you might need to change some things around to truly get over the ex it's time you get away and you throw some stuff away it's time that you get into your closet and you pull out those things that you no longer need of theirs it's time you do some summer slash spring whatever cleaning it's time you get in there and you start cleaning up okay and that's what's going to help you understand because it's going to even though someone says it's just me throwing away their stuff doesn't mean the feelings change it kind of does because now your natural is lining up with your spiritual your natural is saying god i'm over this i'm ready to let this thing go i'm ready to put this thing down even though your spiritual might not completely have connected yet something in the spiritual is saying hey she's throwing things away hey she's trying to get over this person hey she's actually really putting in the effort because she knows that they're no longer beneficial to her future endeavors if it's god if it's her passion if they did this whatever if they're no longer beneficial and so I want to tell you guys that is amazing to be able to go and throw those things away and the next thing is obviously you're going to have those memories you're going to have those feelings you're going to cry sometimes and that is okay it's okay to cry it's okay to be honest about your feelings for that person it's okay to, to do those things but what is not okay is to let it manifest into something different it's not okay to lay in bed and daydream day after day when god already told you to let that thing go it's not okay to sit and plot and critique your life schedule to maybe you can run into them or maybe somewhere on this journey we will come in that's not okay it's not okay to sit there and try to play god what is okay to do is just give it over to God to surrender it to God and say God I remember a lot of times in my breakup I would cry God I would say God this hurts like I would literally just cry out to God and tell him how much it hurt and so that's okay to continue to surrender that to God because he's strengthening you and you have the backbone and you have the stamina to get through this and I think that's what we need to understand but also understand that getting over your ex the most, the biggest advice I could ever give you to truly getting over your ex is getting yourself saturated in the things of God. Living your own new life. Building a life that makes you happy. Building a life, moving on with your life, period. When you move on with your life, it allows that ex to see that you no longer, they no longer have that hold on you anymore. Their words and their deeds and their action no longer can hold you bondage anymore. Their, their, their wishy-washy ways or whatever it may be can, is no longer keeping you down. That's how you get over your ex is you move on with your life. You move on into the things that make you feel excited you go get new friends you go and do things you go and get saturated in new avenues and new routes that make you feel whole that is what you do and I think the biggest advice honestly I could give you is obviously get saturated in God definitely but last but not least move on with your life throw those things away get rid of those things they gave you when the memories come back cast the memories down when you feel like you want to call or run up and plan and meet pray to God and surrender it back to God and say unless you have called me to this let God lead it because the more you try to manipulate and control it the more you're going to end up hurt it's 
hurt so much more to hold on. It's going to hurt you so much more to keep holding on when they're trying to pull away. If you just let that thing go, you will be able to get your healing. You will ever be able to get your deliverance. You will be able to get that restoration. And you might say, what do I need a deliverance for? Well, a lot of us, including myself in previous relationships, I had sex with this person. So I built not only a reg not only a love soul tie, but I built a stronghold. I built something where sex was involved and so that made a strong code that made an inner connection and so when i say deliverance i mean getting delivered from those night dreams that you have of them getting delivered from certain memories and certain things that they did to you or they did towards you getting delivered from certain ways of their teachings and things that they imprinted on you when i say getting delivered i mean letting go and letting god restore all the broken pieces that happened to you okay that is the, the true deliverance and that comes through god's grace and we have to understand that you and I, we both need deliverance. And the only reason I can minister so openly about this is because I battled with this. I would be in new relationships and still having thoughts and still holding on to things that I had no business holding on from from previous lovers. I would be in new relationships still thinking, what if one day that dude... Yeah, I, and so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Is I don't want you to go through the things I went through. I don't want you to hurt someone in that nature either. I want you to be able to move on and get over your ex in a way that God has called you to. In a way that where you don't just go jump into the next relationship. Where you don't just talk to any guy that tells you you're beautiful that you don't just go on 20 and thousands of dates and get on and get on dating apps and just meet people up i'm not telling you to date like that what i'm telling you to do is get in your place and cry out to god get into your closet in your quiet place and cry to god and tell him hey guess what this doesn't feel good i'm hurting I'm hurting, Lord. Help me. And that's how you're going to get strengthened. He's not only going to strengthen you, but he's going to give you a hunger and a fire for new things. He's going to bring new friends into your life. He's going to bring new people. He's going to bring new opportunities. And the more opportunities he brings, the more you're going to be able to build a life without that person and to see, actually, I really can make it. I really don't need them to survive. I really don't need them to be happy. I really don't have to live a depressed life. Without them, I can actually be happy. I don't need them to have peace. I don't need them to feel loved. I don't need them. And that's what I want to get you to today is understand this. You don't need them. You need God. You need God, your God, your Savior, your Jesus Christ, whatever name you want to put on it. You need that Redeemer. You need that grace to come in. And the areas that you fell short in that relationship, the areas of your broken pieces of your broken heart, the areas where you're deep down, you have some hurt that still needs to be um, resolved. Let your Redeemer redeem you. Let him bring you back and restore you. Okay? And so that's what I want to tell you is getting over your ex is getting over all the things that you thought about them. Getting over all those little imaginations and daydreams that you built up in your head about them. Get rid of those. And allow God to come in and restore you. Let God to come, allow God to come in and give you revival. And that is how you get over your ex. Alright guys, I love you so much. Be sure to like, subscribe. Also be sure to subscribe. But comment down below and give some advice to people if you have any other tips on getting over an ex. If you personally went through your own situation, give some advice down below. Because I'm sure it's going to minister to not just me but to others who, who watch this video. Alright? So last but not least, guys, be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts, and I will see you in the next video. Hit the bell down below so you can stay up when I post, alright? Love you guys. Get over that X. I'm praying for you. Bye.